We spoke the other day about pitch and tone and how English people don't generally use their body language to express their feelings. So it's very important, therefore, to give a nice tone if you're on the telephone, for example. One way of doing this is by smiling. And today, I'd like to introduce a concept to you which is called smile. You're on the telephone. Perhaps you work in customer services, or perhaps you would like to communicate more effectively. Basically, the idea is that when you're talking, you smile. But I should emphasize that even though you are smiling, you are not losing the correct way of speaking. Okay? So when you smile, it changes, as you can see, the whole tone of what you're trying to say. But unfortunately, as you know, I am trying to help you not to speak horizontally. So there's a danger, unfortunately, of smiling and then speaking like this <laughs> and not pronouncing the vowels properly. So you have to smile, but at the same time, you're still using the vertical way of speaking that I told you about before to correct the pronunciation of your vowels. If you don't do that, you're going to sound like someone um, who's learned English perhaps in Latin America, okay? Who are always talking like these. <laughs> okay, so the important thing is you're smiling, but you're still using the bottom part of your mouth, okay? Hello, my name is Joseph. How can I help? Now, if you compare that to, hello, my name is Joseph, how can I help? Or, hello, my name is Joseph, how can I help you? The correct way of doing it is making sure if you're smiling, you have the horizontal part covered, okay? It's fine, only for the smile, not for the wads, okay? So let's try again. Hello, my name is Joseph. How can I help? So you can still hear the smile and the cheer in my voice, but at the same time, you're not losing any of the pronunciation. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you.